from a company that I've been wanting to order from um, for honestly like five years. Um, I asked my husband um, for a necklace as a push present years ago um, before we had um, our daughter and he didn't, he was like, what's a push present? And I, I, I told him, you know, it's like a present that the husband gives to the, you know, to the wife or whatever um, before she has the baby. And he like seriously thought I was crazy. And he was like, no, um, your present is our baby and <laughs> you don't need a present. I mean, he was nice about it, but I, I mean, I was super annoyed at the time and then I ended up forgetting about it. But um, long story short, I never got my push present. So anyways, um, the, the brand was made um, made by Mary and they um, it's a jewelry company. And it's a, it was, it's small, it's a small business. Um, it's actually blown up over the years. So, I mean, that was over five years ago. Um, and um, I'm happy to say that she's uh, still, do, Mary's still doing well. Um, Anyways, so I was thinking about it and I got, a rid, I got rid of a lot of my jewelry um, with this past move over the summer. I didn't have a lot, but I had a lot of like meaningless jewelry, you know, things that didn't really like necklace from Target here and there. And I should say that over the years, my style has totally changed. Like when I was younger, I wore a lot of like costume jewelry, like humongous like long dangly earrings, which are fine, you know, and then um, like really long <clears throat> big pennants. And then I've always been like a big hoop girl. Like I love big hoops. I have like a baseball hat and big hoops or my hair back or whatever. But it's um, my, my, my style has become a lot more minimal over the years, not just in jewelry, but also in, you know, my, um, my home decor, my, my clothing, things like that. So um, I decided to treat myself. Uh, I waited a long time and they were um, going to have a huge sale. So I did take advantage of that. So I should say that everything I got was 20% off. Um, if you're going to order from the company, I suggest joining their Facebook group. Um, you need to sign up for their emails or whatever, and then you can join their, um, their Facebook group. Um, it was, it was an awesome resource and really helped me narrow down what I wanted to get. But I thought that this video would be helpful because I spent a long, long, long time researching um, the items that I wanted. Like I knew exactly what I wanted, but I didn't know what size to get. Um, and I'll explain that in a second. So first, let me show you what I, what I purchased. We'll start with the necklaces. So this is the poppy necklace right here. And I love how, um, how simple it is. This is a little, this is a choker actually. Um, it's just, you know, super simple. And I should say that what size did I get? I got the, uh, 13, 14 inch. So this is the smallest you can possibly get. And this is on the, um, the biggest size. So I can make it a little bit smaller if need be. So I did go with the smallest one. And then the other choker that I got is the satellite choker. And you can see that this is just really super simple. Um, and I did get the size, um, let me see, 13 and 14 inches on this as well. <clears throat> now let me go back to the poppy choker. So um, I really was intrigued by the poppy line and you can see that I got one of the rings right here. Uh, actually, let me take them all off so I can show you guys them one by one in a second. Um, but the poppy ring <clears throat> is, or the poppy line is gonna say basically that we're all connected, that all of these dots are a part of something bigger. So you can see, um, isn't that really pretty? Um, and that all of the dots make a full circle. And I thought that was really nice. And that like really spoke to me. So that's why I ended up going with the poppy choker. And I like how this one is a little bit more, um, I guess, dressier and stands out a little bit more than the, um, the simple satellite one. The satellite one will be more of like an everyday look for me. So those are the two chokers I got. I almost went with the lace, but I decided to go with the, the satellite um, instead, and I'm really happy with that. So the third necklace that I got was the um, the Wild Blooms Mini Zola Disc, and that's what it looks like. And this I got the size 16 inch. So I'm not. I'll kind of like put it on for you guys real quick. So this is what it's going to be like fully extended, the 16 inch. Um, like that and then that's if I put it on like the so it's almost it's almost like a choker if I don't fully extend it and I should also say that I did add the extender onto this um so this that's why and I almost looking at it now I should have gone with the size bigger because I wanted this I wanted this to be like a little bit longer but it's okay I'd rather be like this because then all I need to do is get one more extender and I think it'd be perfect I wanted it I wanted it to hang like right down here so I'll have to get that with my next purchase. So this is the, the Mini Blooms um, Zola. And this just basically means that like um, you bloom wherever you are planted. And it's also supposed to signify um, beauty, growth, and um, strength. And I thought that was really fitting because of everything that um, 
you know, with everything the last year with, you know, with me, me stopping drinking and making like a lot of like personal um, lifestyle changes and things like that. So that's what really spoke to me. And I always like, if you know me, I've always been really drawn to like wildflowers. That's kind of like my thing because I've always felt more of like a wildflower. I never really felt like I fit in. Um, I wasn't like a beautiful rose you know, or whatever. I just kind of felt like I was like all over the place. So that's why I chose the mini bloom wild, um, or the mini wild bloom. So those are the three necklaces that I chose. Um, I did get a couple rings. Let me go. So I showed you guys the poppy ring and this is it right here. So normally like my knuckles are kind of big, but normally I'm a size four and a half. Um, there was a local boutique, which I was really fortunate to find in, here in Colorado Springs. So I was able to go there and try some of the rings on. And I actually got the poppy ring from there, but I went with the size five because that's all they had. They were size, they were sold out at four and a half. And I'm, I'm happy I did. Now it is a little bit loose, but I do have arthritis. So, um, I know that my, I, my fingers usually swell. So this part of my fingers always usually a lot thinner. And then my knuckles will swell when I have like a flare up or whatever. So I did go with the size five. Um, and then I also ordered the Laurel ring. So the Laurel ring, um, is going to be a celebration of who you are, um, and, uh, growth. And basically that none of us follow like a straight, straight and narrow path that all of our paths are just like woven into something, um, something bigger. And I, I thought that was fitting for me as well. I mean, especially being a military wife and everything. Um, I didn't follow a straight and na narrow path. Um, that's, I definitely didn't. Um, so that's why, and I got this in a size four and a half. I went with the five and then I emailed them real quick and I was like, oh, I need to do the four and a half and the four and a half fits perfect on me. But if I do have um, arthritis in the winter, I might have to go up to a size five. So then that was the Laurel. And then I just got two basic simple rings. I got the, um, just the round, just the round ring like that. There's nothing special about this. And then I just, and I did get the braided ring. And um, the braided ring is gonna be in a size, um, four and a half and then, um, five. So I know that some of them only go come in like, um, they don't come in half sizes. So actually I think I got fives in both of these. I'm not sure, but, um, and they fit fine. I mean, they actually fit really well. So I could do a four and a half or a five. And then I really liked how this uh, looked stacked. So I'll show you guys how that looks real quick. This is how I've been wearing them. Now I do also want to get the Clio ring. That's just like a little bit thicker of a band, um, kind of like the poppy, but it's, so that's what it looks like. And honestly, I prefer this over my wedding band. Like I know that's, that's bad, but um, that's what I like. And then, so those are all of the rings I got. I got four of the rings. Um, and then lastly for the earrings I got, so these are called live in earrings. So they're just supposed to be like simple everyday earrings that you can wear, um, that aren't too flashy or whatever. So I did get the size. This is the 20 millimeter, this one, just so you guys can see the difference, the 20 millimeter. And then this is the, um, the 12. So that's what it looks like the 20 and the 12. And then I know that they also have like a 16 and um, a 30. So, I mean, I think these are perfect. I don't need anything else, um, even though I do like my bigger hoops, but whatever, I can wear cheapos if I if I feel like I'm wearing my big hoops one day. Um, so I just wanted to give you a brief overview. Like, so everything that Made by Mary um, does, it produces out of Salt Lake City, Utah, and LA, I believe. Um, but definitely follow them on Instagram. Their stuff is like, it's super beautiful. Um, like I said, join the Facebook group, get their perks. If you want to purchase something for me, I'm not an affiliate with them, but you can get $10 off um, by the link um, below. And then, or if you want to message me, I can also send you the link to get $10 off your first order. Um, and I, I would definitely take advantage of that. Their stuff is beautiful. It's made of 14 karat gold. It's all high quality materials. Um, so if I'm going to buy something, I want to buy something with, um, you know, quality instead of quantity right now in my life. So anyways, like I said, I did take advantage of the sale. That's why I got such a big haul. Um, and there's a few more things that I want on my little list, but, um, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.